Aqua Gang, Gang, Gang. What it do, boo? It's your girl. And for 777 here today with a general message for my Aquarius soul family, my Aqua Gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Messages are, in fact, general. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest. Holy angels and spirit guides, please give us exactly what it is in addition to what has already come out that we need to know in regards to this energy for my beautiful Aquarian soul family. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Take a moment and click that like button, guys. Okay, I appreciate those of you who do it every single time. I noticed. Okay, we here. We here with it. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Uh, the like button definitely looks like a small feat, but it's not. It really helps in a major way. So please go ahead and do that, guys. If you don't mind, it's free. Okay. If you want to become a part of the team, a part of the gang, then click the subscribe button. We would love to have you. Okay. We have a lot to unpack, so we're going to jump right in. I'm going to try to take my time with this, though. You know, you know I'll, be, I'll be talking. I'll be talking, honey. Okay. So this is either somebody that you are still connected to or they still feel connected to you. Or this is someone that you're loosely involved with, okay? This is definitely giving the energy of somebody who um, is potentially having a bit of an epiphany in reference to their own behavior. I do feel like you're going to be quite surprised the way that this person's energy turns around. Now, whether or not you're here for it is a totally different story, but we're going to focus on them is what they're guiding me to do. Let's go over all of the cards coming out in the present energy, okay? So we have, or this is really like the past energy. Like, I feel as though this person, the way that they normally behave in romantic connections is that of, you know, <laughs> that guy, that girl, they're, they're definitely pedestalized. They could be very attractive or they could have like a lot going for themselves. They could be really smart, charismatic, or just have like a really, um, magnetic personality like a personality that people gravitate towards that is the king of wands king of wands is normally the single king gender doesn't matter because we also have the queen of wands here but we'll get to that in a moment this could be a fire sign for some of you uh uh, Aries, a Sag, or a Leo. Get more Sag than anything, but don't force that to fit, okay? Um, cross watchers, by the way, you're also welcome here, okay? So just place yourself where you belong in the story if you happen to be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh... I feel as though you kind of threw this person off their rocker. I don't even use that term. I'm hearing they were thrown off their rocker. So very comfortable in who they are, kind of comfortable in who they've become. I do feel like this person is, um, I don't get that they're really young. They may be really wise, right? Um, or an old soul. There's something within this person that is very confident. Okay, the king and queen of wands, very confident, knows who they are, can, you know, really hold their own in any type of crowd a chameleon right they can really adapt um they, they are very likable and it's not that you didn't like this person i just feel as though you were matching their energy because we have a divine pair on the table okay with the queen of wands king and queen of wands so it's like yeah people love my light too right people are also attracted to me people are also very much so intrigued by me people are very much so um talking to me randomly and you know i've had many of stalkers out of my no I'm just joking <laughs> right i've had many of exes that are still riding my coattail bitch right like so what are we actually talking about i feel like the things that this person kind of deems to be their their most valuable assets you have that and some not that it's a competition but i feel like at some point in time it, it did become that in their mind you don't want to be in competition with somebody that you're supposed to be romantically involved with though this is not a we're not supposed to be competitors um are they attracted to you? Of course. Do they like the fact that other people are attracted to you as well? No. And for some of you, you don't even notice it, right? Like we're, we're sometimes completely oblivious that people are staring at us when we're out on a date or that the, the waitress or the waiter is a little bit too friendly, a little bit too giggly, a little bit too ha 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 all in your face. You know what I mean? And we, we're just completely oblivious to it. <laughs> <laughs> right because we be doing our own thing sometimes we be in our own world Aquarians are known to be in our heads a lot okay so sometimes that can go over our head this person has very much so noticed it and I do feel like it kind of triggered them right these are triggers that they possibly didn't even know that they had because they never really met um someone who was matching their energy for real for real okay that's not to say that they were dealing with bottom of the barrel ass bitches they weren't 
it's just something about the way that you match them toe for toe okay um it could be career wise it could be looks wise it could be you know your trajectory where you're going your goals like what you have accomplished versus what you're trying to accomplish it could be the way you talk it could be the way you walk it could be it could be a number of things it could just be the fact that this is all in their head as well because none of this has to be true this could just be a story that they may have conjured up in their mind because of their own triggered feelings right it's not that this person is insecure but you might make this person feel a little bit inferior or insecure i don't even get that you tried to do that you normally don't this was not purposefully done but there's a guarded energy that i feel came once they met you and it, and it almost feels like they shrunk page of of pentacles right you can't go from a page i mean a king to a page so easily something definitely happened um and i don't get that this is something that you recognize i feel like you just felt maybe a shift in their energy slightly because this feels like something that occurred kind of under the radar it, this is these are subconscious um actions and feelings okay it's very slight you would have to be um extremely tuned in to and zoned in on them to recognize it i feel like there was just like a hmm, something feels off type of energy when it went from this you know very confident this person could be like the type of person that really talks highly of themselves and you know they they, they give themselves compliments and you know people they like when people give them compliments too um i'm not getting that they are extremely egoistic but the ego is there you see what i'm saying it's definitely very much so prevalent okay there's a little bit of pride there as well and this seven of wands for me is showing up as this person feeling like oh wow well maybe i'm not like maybe what i've done is not as impressive as i thought right like maybe i'm not as great maybe i just need to pipe down slightly pipe down a little bit right like not get my hopes up too high are they interested in you are they attracted to you yes but they feel like they have competition on the field that might not be true guys that might not be true they could be making it up in their mind you let me know does this person know of third parties do they know um of you dating other people because for some of you that would be fair right like that's what dating is about you don't necessarily have to commit to just dating one person especially if they haven't locked it down if they have not made it official if we don't have a title Okay, and even when we have some titles, if we ain't married, bitch, we say I'm single. You know what I'm saying? Like we could, we could, we could agree to to date each other exclusivity. But have you done that? Have we done that? I feel like this person's confidence was knocked off the rocker, some way, form, or fashion. Okay, so there's a protective energy that they felt like they needed to kind of bring in, based on a story that they told themselves or proof they may have proof guys okay because listen the queen of wands she 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 gets a lot of attention too it doesn't matter king or queen of wands gender does not matter you may have people that you are friends with right you think that they're friend zone but this person might be looking like oh i see the way they look at you right um or it could just be something about you there's something about you that definitely triggered a subconscious um insecurity of this person right so they definitely feel like they're not recognizable to themselves you know um energetically they still don't want to turn away from this because they very much so like you they feel like the two of you uh make a good can have a good connection right and the potential definitely is there but i feel like this this kind of flow of energy king of wands boom boundaries you know kind of feel being guarded this could look like you know testing you right trying to get you to show them that you really like them seven of wands right really trying to get you to prove to them that they matter this could be an attention whore this kind of king of wands to the seven of wands to me feels like somebody who they don't realize that their insecurities were um triggered right because they never really had to tap into that they've been dealing with people who also agree that they're great that they're a prize that they're beautiful they're wonderful right that they are handsome they're this they're that they're this they're that, they're that, they're that. for a long time and it's not that you don't agree with this it's just that you match that energy too i'm trying to i'm trying to tread this lightly because i don't want to just come off like okay you were dealing with insecure people then like clearly because why are you so intimidated by aquarians energy if that wasn't the case you know what i mean if you've never dealt with somebody who was on the level then clearly you were dealing with people who were below the level yes they could have been dealing with people who were on the level yes however 
they would also compliment this person. They would also, you know, kind of lean into that. So it could have been more desperation than anything, right? Like um, more of a desperate energy. So this would be someone who doesn't really think this person is great, but um, they think they're great, but they, they're they like, you know, that, what do you want, a cookie? You're adulting. Like, come on, right? It's not really that big of a deal, but they will appease this person and tell them how amazing that is that they paid their bills this week, right? Like, tell them how amazing that is that they did this, this, and that, right? Normal shit. They cooked that meal for themselves. They're amazing. You're, you, did, you did great, <laughs> right? Like, tooting their horn, laughing at jokes that are not necessarily funny, that sort of thing. Um, I get that they, they feel something different, right? Like you're not, <laughs> you're not giving them that or you have not been giving them that, right? But they still like you, right? There's still this energy of, I'm really happy when we hang out. I am very intrigued by you. I'm very interested in you. But I wish that you would, you know, stroke me a little bit more, right? Like compliment me a little bit more, say this a little bit more, or at least make me feel comfortable in reference to, are you seeing other people? Like, are, is there other competition on the field? Like, do you think I'm great? Or am I the best on the list? That sort of thing. Hmm. So I definitely said at the beginning that this person is having some kind of a wake up call, right? And that is because of all of the additional cards that follow, because keep in mind, this is past energy. They are recognizing that this is a them problem and not a you problem, but they initially took it out on you. You see what I'm saying? Page of Pentacles to me is like bare minimum energy, right? It's giving small, uh, you know, very, very small gestures. I like you, you know, hey, what's up? How are you? Kind of text messages, not really wanting to give you being very guarded in reference to letting allowing things to move forward or allowing things to develop naturally. OK, and organically trying to kind of hold things off so that they can look like, you know, the one that's getting more attention than you or <laughs> so that they can look like. I'm into you, but, you know. This could go either way. I'm not too pressed, right? I'm not panini pressed, bitch. Like, we're good. Like, I think you're fly. I think you're cute. I think you're cool, you know, but I'm cool too. So I'm going to, I'm going to give this much and then we'll kind of see where it goes when I do feel like they've actually developed feelings beyond this page of pentacles energy. So to me, that, that's a game. You know what I mean? Like, why not keep it real? Why not just say you feel the 10 of pentacles, right? I mean, not, not the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of war, um, t the 10 of cups. And this deck is the Ten of Water. Marriage, no, we're not talking that. But we are talking like there's a great deal of happiness that they feel when they're around you. Lots of fulfillment. It feels great, right? It's a total vibe. They can't, it's undeniable, right? The aura that you have um, and possess how they feel when they're around you. But there's a bit of an internal battle that they're experiencing because it's like, well, normally I'm that person, right? Like normally I'm the one that is the magnet, right? The, the top dog the, that gets the most attention, so they were struggling with potentially dealing with someone who was just as charismatic, just as smart, right? Just as witty, just as attractive, just as accomplished. Now, the reason why I haven't necessarily t said that this person is, hmm, I don't know, manipulative, okay, toxic, right, gaslighty, none of that is because I feel like these are triggers that were hidden. You see, they were lying dormant. There really wasn't a reason for them to come about and recognize this within themselves because every other connection prior to now has kind of gone pretty smoothly, right? It is their happiness that was prioritized. They didn't really have much competition. See, that five of wands is crossing the ten of cups, right? So it's not that they were exclusively dating people, but if they were in a situation shit where other where third parties were involved, they were top. They were at the top, right? That person would have just been dating the other people to kind of pass time by until they were ready to like make it something else, make it serious, like, you know, take it to the next level, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But they feel like with you that's not even a thing, like you're not waiting, like you're not even wondering. You could be I feel like they're keeping a lot of their own inquisitions to themselves. They don't want to appear thirsty. They don't want to appear too eager. They don't want to appear as if they are pressed, like I said, but they are. Okay, they are. So 
moving forward, I feel like this person is recognizing, like I said, that this is a them problem, right? They're having a form of a wake up call. And I say that because we do have the eight of wands. So, the, so you will experience some forward movement. There may be a, a very, um, important conversation okay one that that could possibly change everything um within this eight of wands this is text messages so they may they might not feel like they can actually call you but for some of you they might call right um this is this person recognizing the internal work that they need to do they're also recognizing that they kind of made you pay for triggers that you had nothing to do with right like i said it's a them problem not a you problem that they they're feeling a little bit insecure they're going to fix this, guys, okay? If you want, if you allow them to, they are willing to do this. Under the call card, we have the Eight of Pentacles, right? So that is why I don't feel this is toxic. I feel like these are insecurities that this person didn't even recognize that they had or just wasn't so apparent until now. OK, so prior to this onslaught of communication, because they are going to communicate with you, they are going to let you know what's been going on with them or how they feel. Right. Um, they kind of want to balance things out. They want to give you your props and let you know how great they think you are. Right. Like they don't want to sugarcoat it. They don't want to dumb it down. They don't want to make light of it because it's not light to them. They feel like that was so whack of them, you know, to try and. Act like you weren't as great as you are, not give you your accolades, act like the things that you have provided in this connection was just like, OK, you know, it is what it is type of thing. Where I didn't ask you to do that sort of thing. Um, really putting on their big girl pennies, their big boy draws, you know, and making this right. I do feel like they're going to come in a little bit more fun than anything initially. Right. They want to come in kind of lighthearted. Um not too heavy because they don't really know where you stand and they do recognize that they created a bit of a toxic environment. We'll just say that, right? Um, unintentionally, but yet and still with the six of swords, right? Lots of choppy waters. It could have been lots of debates, arguments, just petty shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, testing you, doing things to, to kind of get the upper hand and, you know, potentially putting down some of your achievements, um, not necessarily, but like in a passive aggressive way, I think, right. Sort of really allowing this energy of, of feeling small, which is a them problem, not a you problem, allowing themselves to take it out on you wrong. That was wrong. They are acknowledging that they're taking accountability for that. Okay. And I wouldn't even be looking at this if we didn't see the eight of pentacles, because for me, that feels like they're having some kind of an awakening, right? Some kind of a wake up call. They could have been talking to someone and somebody is like, yo, you're wrong. Like you are, you're incorrect. You're wrong. Like you're taking out, you're taking it out on the wrong person. You need to check yourself, right? Like you need to really look internally. There's some work that needs to be done clearly because there's no reason why you should be talking to them like that, doing that to them or treating them this way or, you know, not showing up, whatever it is that they were doing. Right. Um, so they want to have a conversation, of course, but they I feel like they kind of want to come in more lighthearted with the Knight of Wands. So that's more like asking you to go out, doing something fun, you know, going out for drinks, kind of being a little bit more flirtatious, just kind of trying to break the ice. Right. Um before getting to the heavy shit, but they will get to it. They will. Queen of Wands is how they view you. Um, gender doesn't matter because we also have the King of Wands on the table. I feel like this person is really feeling like, ah, damn, I fucked that up, right? Like, I, I might have, I might have messed it up. You're amazing. Why would I want, why would I want you to believe otherwise? Because you may, because some of the shit that you have done made me feel smaller. This could also be the, the friend in the friend group that's more accomplished than everybody, right? The sibling that went further than everyone else, right? They've been an overachiever their whole life. Um, so these are unchecked sort of insecurities about status, about, you know, even just personality, right? They could be the life of the party normally. They could be the finest. They could have been the jock in school who got all the attention, right? Like the best on the football team, right? The cheerleader or the, the most popular girl in school, right? It's definitely stemming way, way back to childhood with Page of Pentacles, okay? And 
while that felt great then, I feel like as they are becoming older, right, becoming an adult, um, they have had certain situations where that has been placed in question where they're like, wow, like I used to be that girl or I used to be that guy. I don't get that they're extremely insecure. They've only had small situations where they may have encountered people who have a little bit more than them, maybe a little bit more light, you know, maybe, maybe the aura is just a little different, right? Um, different doesn't mean better, but it is different, right? It is something that is also competing with their energy, right? It's very weird the way that they view things. They're also looking at this as well, right? Um, potentially they had parents who were really hard to please, right? So this is where maybe that overachieving spirit came from. And I'm not saying that you're above this person. Like I said, I feel like they view the two of you seeing eye to eye, like we're we are on the same level, which leads me to believe that maybe they were dealing with people who were either below that or who were on the level and tried to and like, you know, pedestalize them purposefully. Right. It's sort of that energy of, you know, you're great. But you're with somebody and just to appease them, you're going to go ahead and lean into the fact that they're greater than you. That's kind of the energy that I get from this person. They are recognizing this, though, right? They're recognizing that they took it out on this connection. They tried to to dim your light, potentially. They, they, they are recognizing all of this. And they're going to make a move. I do feel that, okay? With the Six of Swords, they kind of want to release their baggage before they come back around. And this is why I feel like it might kind of surprise you. I feel like once they've done the work is when they come back around. And with the Eight of Wands, it will be a bit of a shock, okay? Um, an onslaught of communication. There may be a gift that this person wants to give you or they just kind of want to give you your flowers. Like, and really tell it like it is. It's so could have been a bit, a, a bit of an ego death that they have experienced um, on the way here. Let's kind of tap in just slightly and then we're going to go over to the extended, okay? Let's see. Ah, seduction. Right? So they've always had this ability to attract people, to seduce people, to, you know, be the one that people gravitate towards. Very tempting, right? Um, I'm really viewing this seduction card as like the attraction. Lots of jobs have been attracted to this person. They've had lots of opportunities, lots of opportunities for, you know, job opportunities, romantic opportunities, opportunities to do th certain things, right? It's just attracted to them. Um, you might not view yourself that way, but that's how they view you, right? Like you are definitely up there with them and you're not dumbing yourself down, right? As their connections from the past would have done. So we have Ascension, right? They are definitely learning. They're expanding their thought processes, right? They're viewing this from a totally different perspective. I knew there was transformation here, okay? Because we have the butterfly. So this is about evolving, right? Growth, healing the inner child. Did I not say that this, a lot of this behavior and these thought processes have stemmed from their childhood, okay? The way that they were raised or the unrealistic expectations of their family. Okay, maybe they had a parent who didn't pay much attention to them or they could have had a narcissistic parent for some of them, right? And they just wanted attention, right? Or they wanted to please them. So they definitely overachieved. This person has um, definitely gone out of their way to be, you know, the, the most fun at the party, the, the finest, you know what I mean? Body on, mwah, right? Um, getting the best job, big salary, you know, finishing school, doing this, getting their master's, getting their doctorate, like, you know, being fun, being well-read, being well-spoken, being well-groomed, you know, just a lot, right? And they feel like that was, a, they do feel like that was a lot of work. And this is why they require so much like, how did I do? How did I do? How am I doing? How did I do? Right? Like, am I, am I good enough now? Am I good enough now? But how about now? Right? Like, is it even better now? That makes me kind of sad. You know, what a sad existence, right? To make, to try and do things, to feel like you have to accomplish certain things, look a certain way, have a certain thing, have a certain job, have a certain salary, a certain body, a certain type of hairstyle, a certain type of car, a certain type of house and lifestyle and a certain way to talk and a certain way to be. It's like, who are you actually then? 
because you have curated this person so that people will praise you, right? For the accolades. Oh, you're so great. You know, you're just so wonderful. You are amazing. Like, you are the best. You're the king. You're the queen. You're amazing. You're nah, nah, nah. And I feel like they've had a lot of enablers. And I feel like the, the one person or the two people, which are their parents, I feel like it's their parents or somebody in the family, right? Somebody who they really um, care about, right? Their opinion. Who they've done this all for which they don't realize because it's been subconscious, right? It's been a subconscious sort of um, mode of action. That person is still unimpressed, right? So it's like a never ending cycle. It's like a never, it's like a black hole to pour into. What about making yourself happy? And I feel like these are the things that this person is addressing, right? These are the things that they're now recognizing and realizing, right? By way of, you know, Aquarius is great, but I'm great too, sort of thing. Hmm. Let's pull one card from this deck and then I think it's safe to say we out of here. Let me see. What goes along with this ascending energy? Okay, see, yeah. So they're finding themselves, right? This is a lost soul, right? This is somebody who felt like they had to be something, had to be like something, had to be about something. And, and you could have really inspired this person, right? Um, I feel like you have a way about you that's great and you don't have to try, right? Like Aquarians are known to be very um, non-traditional and kind of going along their own path, especially Aquarians who are um, more spiritually mature. It's like you finally recognize at some point in time that trying to appease everybody else does nothing for you. It empties your cup. It does nothing for you. You are more valuable at your most authentic self. And that is what this person has experienced from you. Your most authentic self It's very pure. So they, they experience a, a natural high right it is something that is extremely attractive yet effortless right so they could have felt like they had to work all this time they did all of this shit to try and be this staple of status this thing this have this you know this level be at this level be this great be this this thing right high up only to meet you and it's just like you know you just, it just seems like it comes so naturally it's a lot of work to be someone that you're not isn't it and it's quite sad when you really think about it right and it's not to say that everything that you've experienced from this person is a character or is unauthentic but there are a lot of parts of them that they are now addressing is potentially things that they don't like or it, maybe you know that's not something that I'm interested in anymore I actually don't like doing this thing I actually don't like having to you know doll myself up all the time sometimes I just want to chill sometimes it's you know sometimes I just want to be sometimes I just want to just exist sort of thing they're really going through this it's, it's a, an extreme transformation is what I feel but it's more internal right I don't get that there was a direct separation between you and this person, though it could have been for some of you, so take it how it resonates. I just feel as though maybe you pulled back because you yourself can feel authentic, um, unauthentic energy, right? You can feel when someone is portraying as a character, someone is being disingenuous. That comes with having a spiritual awakening, right? You're able to see shit so clearly. Everybody, right? You see the fake shit so raw, <laughs> And you, and it's sort of like you have to repel yourself from it, right? Because it's just draining to deal with somebody right in your face. And it's like, I know this is not who you really are. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. So we have divine connection. Wow. I'm interested to see how this turns out, guys, right? They're, they're definitely coming in. And I told you this is going to be a bit of a surprise. So let's hop over to the extended. Okay, let's see how this all turns out. Is it, is it worth your time? You know, what I mean, you still get to choose still have free will. How does this turn out? If you decide to uh, reinvest with this person, let's see what their next steps are going to be and their intentions so you can be prepared. Um, I also want to know, like I said, investing in this, is it worth your time? What do you get out of this? Okay, what could you be setting yourself up for? If there are any red flags, what would those be? Right? What is the potential outcome? Does this have the ability to work and go all the way? Okay, um, we'll look into all of that. We'll get some advice and I'll do an Ask the Universe reading. I, I don't think I've done one of those in a while. So we'll give you the floor to ask 
a question, a couple of questions, okay, a question or two, um, but I'll have more instructions for that over in the, in the extended. So without further ado, click the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box and I'm going to see y'all over there. So let's go.